Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports at peaksports.com. And in this video, I'm gonna answer a question from a soccer player, a very experienced soccer player that is struggling taking his practice game to competition. You're watching Sessions with Doc. Here's the question that I received from Rob. Rob said, I'm 40 years old. I've been playing soccer for 30 years. I play really well in practice, even against the best players in the club, but in games, I don't play very well. I make mistake after mistake. Many times I wanna quit after a poor game, but I just can't quit. I love it too much. I'm lost and really don't know what to do at this point. Can you help me, Dr. Cohn? Well, Rob, this is the number one reason why athletes engage me to do mental coaching. They look like a star in practice. They're able to do all their skills and moves in practice, perform very well, mistake-free, mistake but then once they go to the game situation, they tend to struggle. So. Question number one is, why are you struggling in the game? And most athletes really don't understand why they're struggling in the game. Often it's about either perfectionism or fear of failure or not wanting all your hard work to not pay off for you. In other words, you put in all this time and effort, you wanna perform well in the game. Those are kind of the underlying issues that I find of athletes that can't take their practice game to competition. All right, with that said, what happens in competition that isn't allowing you to perform your best? Something is holding you back. Is it fear of making mistakes, which is very common? Are you trying to make the perfect play? Or are you overthinking your skills or what to do with the ball when you have the ball. And that's a very, very common challenge I find with soccer players is they tend to second guess, they tend to overthink, or they want to make the perfect play. All of this out of not wanting to make mistakes. Why? They don't want to let down the teammate or they don't want to think that they're not playing well or others think that they're not playing well. Uh, once again, it's that fear of failure that is changing what's happening on the soccer field and thus you losing your trust in your skills. So I'm gonna talk about one super, super important tip for all soccer players that is really, really critical. Play athletically. What that means is you gotta go out there, trust in your skills from practice and just react. I know that sounds really simplistic, but that's what I tell my students to do, is you have to get into the flow and just react. Well, how do you do that? You go with your first instinct. If you're running down the field with a ball and you've got a two on one, or let's say you've got a three on two, um, you have to go with what pops into your head. What's that first image? Secondly, do not second guess yourself. You have to be very, very decisive. So you go with the first instinct, be very decisive about what you're doing with the ball, and that will help eliminate, I think, some of the mistakes that are happening in the soccer game. Thanks for the question. If you want more tips and videos and podcasts on how to improve your mental game in soccer, please go to SoccerPsychologyTips.com and we have lots of great stuff for you there. Thanks for watching. If you want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos just like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the upper right hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.